In our game, there are a lot of different tanks. Some of them look historical, reasonable, and unremarkable. But there are tanks that make you wonder, what were they thinking? Or what kind of madness is this? Today, I'll show you the most bizarre and strange tanks in our game. They not only look peculiar, but are also considered rare tanks with less than a 1% chance of encountering them in battle. So, without further ado, let's quickly check out this circus of oddities. Friends, in today's tech-savvy world, it's no secret that for many people, YouTube is the primary source of income. Each of you can start creating videos right now and earn from it. You don't even need a computer because the most crucial aspect of any video is high-quality sound. That's why I want to recommend an excellent service from my friends, my vocal AI. This service uses artificial intelligence and can replicate your voice or any other voice in just a few clicks. All you need to do is record 25 phrases or upload an audio file with any voice and the neural network will create an exact copy. After that, you can use your voice to narrate any text or even listen to how you sing different tracks. And now I beg to see you dance just one more time. Ooh, happy, make me wanna try. And with the promo code SWETCHVOICE23, you'll get a 23% discount. Start earning online with my vocal AI. All the details will be in the description. Before we begin, let me show you this tank. You might wonder why I'm showing it to you. After all, it's just an ordinary and unremarkable tank. Well, I'm showing it to you because this is the last normal tank you'll see throughout the entire video. So consider this a disclaimer and let's get started. Introducing the parade of tank catastrophes, we have the O47, and I know what the developers were aiming for when they designed its appearance. It's a somewhat reasonable tank where you might actually manage to do something in battles. Maybe. I can't guarantee that though. Despite its recent buff, it remains one of the weakest medium tanks at tier 8. Especially when you have tanks like the Chimera, Progetto 46, or Revelarize, which are a level above the O47. Let's talk about its armor. You might think it has some, but in real battles, everyone and their grandmother will penetrate you effortlessly. And considering the tank isn't exactly speedy, playing it will give you the most unpleasant sensations. The only thing worth mentioning is the tank's gun, although it doesn't have any standout features. It deals an average of 240 damage per shot, has subpar penetration for tier 8, and an average damage per minute DPM of 2400. Overall, the tank turned out to be dull and unappealing. I don't know who would want to buy it, maybe just for the collection, but nothing more than that. Next up, we have another monster from the Abyss, the Harfen. Despite its comical appearance, it can cause quite a stir in random battles. With a solid damage per minute, DPM of 2462 and 190 damage per shot, it boasts impressive firepower. Executing well with it is relatively easy, as the tank not only delivers high DPM, but also features good frontal and side armor on its hull. If you maneuver skillfully, you can deflect the majority of enemy shots. Additionally, this tank has decent mobility. It's probably the best tank in this video, but it's extremely rare. I can't remember the last time I encountered it in battle. In fact, in my seven years of playing tanks, I've never come across it. That says a lot. Now let's move on to another monster called the Lupus. I'm just curious about what was going through the developers' minds when they added this tank to the game. However, despite its appearance, it can still make an impact in random battles. Of course, it's not as good as the Harfen, but it's not as dreadful as the tanks we'll see later. It has armor and a gun with good single-shot damage and excellent gun depression angles. However, in terms of mobility, it significantly lags behind other heavy tanks, but the most notable aspect is its appearance, which speaks for itself. By the way, this tank often appears for sale, but due to its underwhelming performance, nobody buys it. The chance of encountering it in random battles is less than 1%. Let's continue. Now it's time for the absolute worst of the worst tanks in the game, claiming the honorable second place in the circus of monstrosities, the Nameless. An interesting and promising name for a tank. Just from the name, you can tell that the tank has no outstanding abilities. Weak armor and terrible mobility are complemented by a dreadful gun. Playing this tank is absolute agony. Every other shot is either a miss or a bounce. I sincerely wouldn't wish such suffering even upon my enemies. So if you happen to see this tank for sale, just close the game and take a break. And if you do decide to play, pray that your team doesn't have this tank or it will be a guaranteed defeat for your side. I have nothing more to say about this tank. It even looks funny. If the previous tank at least instilled fear in opponents, this one instills fear in the person playing it. Let's move on. Friends, before we continue, I will ask you to subscribe on my channel. We have almost 10,000 subscribers in our big family. It's unbelievable that we can reach it less than six months. So let's move on. The final spot for the most despicable tanks goes to the Vulcan. Just by its appearance, you can tell it's trying to transform into something normal, but it clearly fails to do so. At least, that's the feeling you get in battle. Tanks of even the sixth tier can penetrate it, and it moves so slowly that by the time you reach a position, your entire team will have already left the match, leaving you to fend for yourself against the enemy team. And you think the downsides end there? They've only just begun because the gun is the worst thing about it. The damage per minute is lower than that of tier six tanks, and the shooting comfort is just dreadful. 
every shot has a 50% chance of hitting the ground. And the funniest part is that the price for this junk is always higher than other tanks from the same company. The only use for this tank is to sell it when you urgently need credits. I have nothing more to say about it. In my opinion, it's the worst tank in the game. Well, now you're acquainted with the most terrifying and unusual tanks in our beloved game. Congratulations if you managed to endure until the end of the video without going insane. Write in the comments how long it's been since you saw these tanks in battle or maybe you even own them. Share your impressions. I'd be very interested to read your opinions. Thanks for watching, dear friends. Until we meet again. Goodbye.